Hello students, welcome back to Mathfee's Java Programming Tutorials. In this video, I'll be explaining you built-in environment, main method of Java, and displaying output in Java. Let's see the contents. Introduction, built-in classes, built-in objects, built-in methods, the main method, the run method, displaying output of a program, and programs in the Java environment. Let's see the contents. In real life, built-in environment means the environment which is already available for us to grow or use. For example, the environment provided by the government or in a house. Government provides us with roads, electricity, telephone lines, parks. This is all built-in environment. Similarly, in a house, all the equipment is bought and placed in different rooms, dining room, drawing room, etc. Similarly, Java language also provides built-in environment for the programmers in the form of built-in classes, objects, and methods. This built-in environment can be used to take input, use memory, use processors, give output, etc. The ones created by programmers are known as user-defined classes, user-defined objects, or user-defined methods. Let's see built-in classes. Java provides system, string, integer, boolean, character, scanner, math, several classes. All these classes start with a capital letter. Built-in classes have starting and each word also with capital letter. Then comes built-in objects. There are three built-in objects. Out and ERR refers to VDU. That is monitor. And in refers to keyboard. Out, we use system.out.println. Whenever error comes, automatically that error will be displayed by Java on the video. Now, system.in, which we will learn in 2-3 videos, system.in refers to keyboard. And all these built-in objects are in lowercase. Now, let's understand built-in methods. Print, println, we know println, pow, square root, next int, next line. All these are all built-in methods. There are several methods. If a method has more than one word, then the first word will be in lowercase. And from the second word onwards, each word's first character is in uppercase. If we remember this syntax, writing programs would be easier. The two important methods in Java are main method and run method. Main method starts the execution of an application and run method starts execution of a thread. Whenever J JVM starts, Java Virtual Machine it requires a starting point in the code to start the application. This is nothing but public static void main and within brackets string argument that to an array. Every Java application must have a main method. The string array facilitates command line arguments. We will see what is that parameters. And then 
if user does not pass arguments, string parameter is ignored. In this particular public static void main string arg square brackets, only the name of the parameter can be changed. Now comes, let's suppose user defined class is there. All of us are supposed to create user different classes and the starting method should be public static void main. So class find has a main method, body of the method we create and end of the method, end of the class. Blue J ID allows the programmers to write programs without the main method so that the budding programmers can concentrate on the logic building. Other IDEs like Eclipse, NetBeans expect a main method from the programmer's side. But it is a good programming practice to create a main method and inside that method create objects and call other user-defined or built-in methods. Once if we understand thoroughly this particular main method, we also use main method. Let's see a small Java program which explains main method. Let's see the contents of demo main. Every Java application must have a main method. Signature is this particular signature, public static void main string ARGS. Reads a string array as an argument. If user does not pass arguments, the string parameter is ignored. In this particular method, only name can be changed. Let's make it AR and say control K, no errors. But if I remove any of the other character, uh, other words, it gives an error. Okay. Now, first of all, we'll understand how do we execute without giving parameters. Inside this Hello is being displayed. Fine. Let's execute demo main. This is a static method that means available to class only. Let's assume we create an object new demo main. This main method will not be available to the object because see there is no main method because this is a static method. Static methods are available to the class only. Once if we create and uh, call the main method, it is asking string AR. This is an array. But I don't have any arguments so far. So click on OK. It does not create any problem but displays whatever is there in the main method. This is about main method. Now let's see displaying output of a program. There are two methods to print or display output of a program. First one is print, second one is println. Both of them are defined in print stream class. Now the system class has defined an object called out which is static in nature of print stream class. So the statement system.out.println or system.out.print are possible. Now both print and println methods can print messages and variables with the help of a plus separator. There is one plus operator plus separator. Both of them will understand. Let's see a Java program. Let's see the contents of this output. Here, public static void main string AR. First two lines we will understand first of all. System dot out dot print. Print means print whatever is there as an argument. And the control stays in the same line. The next print statement also prints in the same line. Enter a number, 
integer format. Both of them will be displayed in the same line. So control K and close this. Execute display output. Main method is a static method. Call from class only. See, in, enter a number, integer format. Both of them are displayed in the same line because of the print statement. Now, if I remove these multi-line comments and execute two more lines, See, after these two, we have a print ln statement which takes the control to the next line. Does not print anything because there are no parameters. But after the first line which has entered a number integer format, after that, the control goes to the next line and prints hello. Okay, control K. Let's see the output. Main, okay, and then enter a number, integer format, next line, hello. So, print and print ln. Now, we need to understand one more thing. That is, here I am giving the multi-line comment, removing from here, and another four lines. The plus separator or operator behaves in two different ways. If the arguments are integers or arguments are a combination of integer and a character, the plus behaves like an operator, addition operator. What is it? System.out.println has arguments A and B plus should be a separator. But both A and B are integers, so it acts like addition. Operator, not separator. In this statement, system.out.println A plus CH, A is an integer, CH is a, a character, so it adds and displays. So what should be the output here? A plus B operator, addition operator. So, 8 will be displayed. Unicode value of A is 65 and A character A. So, CH 65 and A, the variable integer variable is 5. 65 plus 5, 70. So, 8 and 70 extra we will get other than enter a number integer format. Hello. Control K and execute and see whether it is working like operator or not. Not separator. Look at this 8 and 70. Okay. Now, if we see these, system.out.println A, B in between double quotes means string. Whenever it sees a double quotes or a string double quotes, it joins, not adds. Joins means concatenation. So now A, 5, some space, B, 3. A space B, that is 5 space 3. Similarly here also, we have sum equals to Sum equals 2 is a string. So, whenever string is there, immediately joins. Sum equals 2 in the next statement, joins. Sum equals 2 in the next statement, joins. Any string. Now, what does it do? Sum equals to 8 plus 10. So, this plus is not an operator here. It is a separator. So, sum equals to some space, 810 would be displayed, just joins. Similarly, in the next statement, sum equals to 3 plus A, 3A, joins here also. But in the last statement, there is what must bracket is there. 
So it behaves, this plus operator behaves like operator, not separator. So 2 plus B's unicode value, which is 98. So 98 plus 2 is 100 over here and then joins. So let's see the output of this program. So what did we decide? This we know integer, enter a number, integer format in the same line. Hello. And then A plus B, that is 5 plus 3 is 8 addition. And here 70 addition. Here 5 space 3. Here sum equals to 810. Sum equals to 3A. And then sum equals to 100. Let's see the output. Execute main method and say okay. See, sum equals 5 space 3, sum equals to 810, 3a and then 100. This is about displaying output that is print and print ln statements of Java. Refer chapter 3 of basics in computer applications for further understanding. The next video is about dot operator, counters, accumulators and evaluating expressions in Java. Thank you.